Hello everybody and welcome to the Pure Liberal Challenge. A hero is someone who lives life to the fullest but with a vision. A hero is someone who lives with passion, energy, and gusto but also meaning and purpose. A hero is someone who seeks his own pleasure first, last, and always but still has lofty values, convictions, and ideals which he tries hard and well to live up to. A hero is not, generally speaking, a passerby who dashes into a burning building to rescue trapped orphans. He is not, generally speaking, a military man who falls on a live grenade to save his fellow soldiers. He could be, but this serve and save one's fellow man business is not true heroism. It isn't what heroism is usually about. People need to look out for number one more and to mind their own business. There are basically two types of heroes, personal and social. Practically everyone today in our irrational, illiberal, dark age world praises social heroes to the hilt and virtually ignores personal heroes. But this is a grave error. This is a monstrous injustice. For the most part, only personal heroes are real heroes. Social heroes do exist and do count, but they're nowhere near as important. Anyone can attempt to sacrifice himself to save his fellow man. This is easy and usually unsuccessful and often counterproductive if not disastrous. But not everybody can have a bold idea and private vision of noble character and then hold on to it for a lifetime. Not everybody can stand by his convictions and ideals. It's difficult to make your lofty dreams come true. It's difficult to make your bold and idealistic vision real. Voltaire was a true hero and hero of mankind. He was in and out of jail and under royal and priestly threat all of his life. Yet he stuck to his guns. He fought back, back long and hard and well. And he ended up writing many good and great things from, philo from philosophical treatises to novels to satires to poems to encyclopedias. The result of all this dynamically and defiantly heroic activity was a whole era was named after him. Benjamin Franklin was another hero. He ventured into countless businesses. He organized and led a wide variety of political, social, and educa educational initiatives. And he was a scientist and inventor with a slew of inventions to his credit. He heroically rose from complete obscurity and poverty to become during the final decades of his life, arguably the most respected and admired person on the planet. Kurt Vonnegut started out selling insurance and writing normal type, conventional type novels. But he gradually found his voice and vision and ended up writing lively, daring, strange, fun, dynamic novels which were similar to nothing else which had come before. Woody Allen writes, directs, and stars in most of his movies with a voice and vision, a style and theme all his own. The good works of Voltaire, Benjamin Franklin, Kurt Vonnegut, and Woody Allen have hugely enriched millions of lives. And not, and not one of these four was even remotely a self-sacrificer or a do-gooder or a miserable, lowly social hero. They were true heroes, not like Mother Teresa or Albert Schweitzer not like the people who work in soup kitchens or battered women's shelters, not like the people who join the Peace Corps or serve in Doctors Without Borders. Serving and saving your fellow man is helpful and important at times, but your main job is to serve yourself, to live your own infinitely important and even godlike life to the fullest. Social heroes just don't count for much. Personal heroes count for, for just about everything. And it's no mere curiosity or accident that personal heroes, those who truly love themselves and live for their own sake, benefit their fellow man far more than their opposite numbers. Personal heroes aid human happiness and the ascent of man more than social heroes can even dream.